a nose here and a mouth. Look, it's a dog. And now it's time to learn lots more about our planet. This is a baby giraffe, and it's born with lovely patterns on its skin. The patterns stay the same all through the giraffe's life. They're like giant spots. What other animals have spots? Leopards. Leopards never change their spots. Like the giraffes, leopards are born with their spots and the pattern doesn't change. The spots are big on their backs with a pale centre, perfect for hiding in shadows. On their feet and heads, the spots are smaller and all black. There are black leopards too. They're known as black panthers. At first you might think they're all black, but they've still got spots, though they're very hard to see. The spots on this leopard are much easier to see. Some big cats have spots. This big cat has stripes. Tigers are stripy all over. Look at the beautiful thick black stripes on this tiger. Even though you might think all tigers look the same, they don't. No tiger has exactly the same markings as another. But is it the tiger who's got the best stripes? Or is it the zebra? It's got black and white stripes all over. When you see a herd of zebra together, it becomes one big, stripy, Pattern. No other animal looks so striking on the African plains. The zebra can't hide. His stripes make him stand out from the crowd. Zebras look like horses, don't they? But no horses are stripy like the zebra. Which do you like best? Stripes or spots? Stripy zebra and stripy tiger or spotty leopard and spotty giraffes.
Can you be an animal too? <coughs> what animal is this? It's a zebra. And what's Izzy? She's a rabbit. It's a planet! Two owls sitting in the dark, looking all around them. And looking at you. What huge eyes they've got. They've got very good eyesight and very good hearing. Most owls are awake at night and go out to look for their food when it's dark. Here's a scops owl balancing carefully on top of a tree while he eats a big juicy insect. Different kinds of owl can be found living in most parts of the world. Snowy owls are able to survive in the freezing cold in the Arctic. They're nearly all white, with a few dark spots, and this helps them to blend into the background when it snows. They're among the largest owls in the world, and can be seen flying during the day. There aren't any trees in the Arctic for the owls to live in. It's too cold for trees to grow. So the owls nest on the ground. Snowy owls often have lots of chicks. Some owls only have one or two. They huddle together against the freezing Arctic wind, waiting for their mother to return with food for them. The oldest chick is already learning to wander off. And you can see his first white feathers coming through on his back and feet. Like snowy owls, great grey owls are also able to cope with very cold weather. They live in chilly pine forests. They have very thick feathers to cope with the cold and they hunt in the daytime. The great grey owl chick waits patiently in a tree, hardly moving and staring straight ahead. He may look worried, but his parents are close by. One of the smallest owls in the world lives in a hot place, the desert. There aren't any trees here, so the elf owl lives in tall cactus plants. He hunts at night and catches insects. This owl does need trees to nest in. It's called a flammulated owl, and he lives in mountain forests. He's able to hide completely in his tree home because his feathers look just like the bark of a tree. If he stands very still, and owls are very good at that, you can hardly see him. No wonder owls are known for being wise. They're very clever at coping with different weather and different places to live.